everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we are here taking a look at Young Posse's Ate That. This is a Patreon request, shout out to Chris for the request. Also, I know a lot of people on YouTube are going to be very, very happy that I'm looking at this. So, y'all can say thank you to Chris in the comments. I know he would love to see that. I can't wait to dive in. We got a music video, a choreography version, a dance practice. Yeah, all the good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. It kind of looks, I mean, that's Venice Beach. I've been there quite a few times, actually. That's when we do our waving sessions. That's really funny. Hey. We know that. Well, it's a different restaurant, but same. Look at that. That's such a Snoop Dogg thing in a two, three, to the full Snoop Doggy Dog. Da -da -da. Beastie Girls? Yeah, is this a Grand Theft Auto themed thing? Hey, <laughs> got it, got it, got it. This is wild. Lock busted. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, ma'am. It's not <laughs> gangster life. Oh, my goodness. See, peace. Posse, peace. Ah, yeah, those are the tracks, right? Oh, don't eat that, dog. Chocolate is so not good for you. Yeah. PSP! Lord. I haven't played on a PSP in goodness knows how long. A... Grand Theft Auto 8, bro. We, there's like, I bet you, isn't there a, um, there's a particular, oh man. Oh my god, there's a no, whoa, 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 there's a no CGI version? Hold on, there's a no, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna totally watch that as like a fun thing at the end. Vamos
Oh, she's not my twin anymore. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Plus four. I've had people comment four plus four on some stuff. And it's just a fun note. Little Harlem Shake. That's East Coast, by the way. <laughs> I think it's funny. The tension on that was nice. like that part of the track where they're talking and referencing mac and cheese and XXL. Nice. And I like the talk box integrated too. Little party machine. Push through. Come on now. Yeah. This little dance spot looks really fun too. Yeah. I love that. The ending is really, really cool. Um, and then they go. Are they sitting down? Aha! Cute, like that is a cute little finish. Very cute finish. Go back in, boom, boom. So that's right here. We already kind of know what it is. We're just gonna talk about the formation. It's a little sea walk variant. And then from here, of course, they have their little draw down. Going from, I think, what, what was the position? They were in a, what, clump? Yeah, go from the clump. And then ending up having go from the slides was really cool, really nice transition to get into the diagonal. Really nice. And then from there, going from the diagonal over into the straight line looks really, really nice. And then having the little partner assist is kind of fun too. Good job on the spacing on that. Little, little Gimme 5 was fun. A little 8 that I love the 4 plus 4. It's cute. It's a vibe. 3 to the 4. I would say if they're all going to do, I think, oh, because of the transition, that makes sense. Um, she and um, my girl in front right here, she didn't end up crossing on the first one, so it felt just a little off. But they got it all together on the second one. I love the hinge around that with a little rebound on that. That was cool. I like that with the kick kick on that. And then going into the diagonal. No, oh my god, that's a V, Jess. Yeah, so going into the V and ate that. I like the bounce on this. Yeah, A, that. So it's really, really nice is they don't look awkward. And that's what kills me on all this is that they don't look awkward. And I appreciate that a lot because that would make it, I think it would, it, it could cause more, uh, more issues if they looked super awkward doing a lot of these movements, but it looks natural. And yes, I've already seen XXL, but if, if we just isolate these and they're independent you know, tracks. I mean, there'd be some things I wouldn't have been able to pick up on like I was, which was super cool. But, um, you look at the movement quality, right? So there's certain ways to do certain movements. So as we've kind of briefly talked about, because it's cultural, it's implicit. There's a lived kind of rock and bounce or groove that exists in a lived cultural experience, right? And so that's why there's some people that feel there's a really awkward conversion based on how you grew up in your movement quality and others, it's very, very natural. So here, a lot of times we don't associate the K-pop training system with understanding authenticity in the rock and the bounce or, or knowing how to to have a strong foundation there, but they've shown that they understand 
where weight place was supposed to go and where your power comes from so they can wear short sleeves and it doesn't look awkward. So that's a really nice note I'm going to give them in a, in a great complimentary way. Like that's, it's pretty nice to see, which I love. So I like, she goes around, my twin is no longer twinning with me. I don't own this outfit, nor is my hair like that, but I know she was my XXL twin. If you haven't seen that, please go look. I don't think I've ever matched somebody fashion wise and hair wise like I did with her. I thought it was the funniest thing and the best way possible. Anyway, how they all look over. I love that. This does feel a similar structure to XXL. I see the complementariness of it. I'm assuming it's a part of the same comeback era, possibly. I could be wrong, so sorry about that. But I like that there. Hit the little bow and arrow. It's been technically a lock in, is what we were seeing there. The little hot. So they're doing a lot of like that old school hip hop. A lot of it derives more so from the East Coast. Like the Harlem Shake came from Harlem, New York. <laughs> so it's just, it's interesting. It's more so kind of encompassing a super big hybrid of multiple different communities because the West Coast was more of the gang hip hop, gangster rap is what we called it, right? And then um, and the East Coast was, was a different type of rapping mm, community and culture. It's just so, it's like you have the MCs and, and all that kind of stuff. It's so fascinating just to be curious about it. And I only know a fraction compared to what I want to know. And I'm always a growing student too so even if I'm off on something please humbly correct me and I'll pin you if you're like I'm a historian for gang rap let's talk about it yes I want to hear from you let's go I like this da 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 really nice to pick that up so it's, it's hitting this here it's not literally like a full reject yet by any means but I like the the extra energy on that little chug as we go and take it the compliment with the arms it's so super fun the little I like that we're passing off energy and camel locking or locking but I'm gonna call it camel locking where there's a little gimme five it's an exchange of energy in the funk camel locking scene and so it's nice to see uh to see like this little exchange and like hey let's see you let's go passing it off to you I love it I'm like, okay, the hit, hit, new thing. The little baby. I like how we hit it nice and low and we have the subtlety of the wave. I think it's super cute. And bringing it over, bringing it right back down. And then we go, ate that. Nice. It's nice. We're here for it. She says, da 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 da. Okay, we're here for it. Yeah. Left no crumbs. So I like that with a little ball change. The look, look, high to mid. And have some fun. Woo! Love that choice too. Then we help continue to dig it. I really like that choice. And we have a little accent there. So definitely has a little bit more feminine posture on this, which I really like. Yeah, live and let. Cool. It definitely gives that little top rock energy that you'd see in breaking. Love it. And then right here. Uh, and uh, I really like uh, the, the buildup on that, using the, using the bounce and the rock to allow the sense of accent with the legs. It's super cool. You have the subtlety, da da da, speed change, and then we have a subtlety, go high, low. I love the little point, point, and then we have a new feature peeking out of the line. I love that. And then we're eating. It's our eating era the whole time. It feels like a lot of their tracks are based off of food. It's kind of fun. And then they have a little peace sign, cute. Then we have our moment, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, let's go. Oh, I like the subtlety, speed change, and then we double it up. Really nice. And then that's a Steve Martin, and a little four plus, yeah, same thing. Um, so that's not the same thing. That's not Steve Martin. That's like a like a it's a Sea Walk variant or something you would see when people do Sea Walks. And then we go. That's a little rock away, which is cool. The little brush, brush. We're here for that. And a little hop, hop. That right there. I remember seeing Ice Cube. He demonstrated his Sea Walk, and he would do. He would end up doing that little hop, hop variant, or uh, bum, 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 and then he would end up like even rotating the knees a little bit bigger on that too and he picks it up little brush brush four plus four and we, I like the variance of different angles whenever we are choosing to go hey what's up little hit hit throw and I like how we go and we throw it and it goes I ate that ah uh. yep so I like the levels on this it's fun great way to showcase your feature six seven six Ate that, ate that. It's like, I know there's like a burger joint that was in uh, XXL and you do end up sitting like one of them completely demolished a burger in those strangest like lack CGI, like a CGI way. But I like that little ate that because it does remind me of like a burger. I love these over. That's really fun. Where it's just the slides on that and the transition and there into your window. She goes, woo, that's a Harlem shake. We love that. No, da 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 shimmy shimmy yeah da 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 da. That reminds me of XXL. That rhythmic structure right there. West Coast make a way now. Okay, that's 
it's yeah referencing the west coast grand theft auto based in the west coast kind of locations and stuff so i see i see why they went with grand theft auto as the theme there's your harlem shake like a little pass off once again right then everybody joins back in so it's the second time that we're seeing a harlem first one was more just unified and then we have a different stylized hand and we use it as a transition from a feature to a collective group so that was a cool add-on I like that little boom and a two and a three and a four and we hit accent with the head and we drop it down and we go dinner possible really nice and we got, uh, 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 uh. I think that's cute that was a really fun moment there's your speed change I love the tension on that all the way bleeding through the four counts and then we dig through dig through really I love that what you want to do come on we brush it away we go head cute little head on there and then we dig it through. Really nice, nothing crazy there. I like how they how their features are structured in this. I think it's always really fun. And do a nice little heel twist on that. And then that little peace sign. And was like, hey, we looking at you. Let's go. We walk on tempo. So same thing that we've already kind of seen. Plus four. Eight that cool. And then from here, instead of doing the levels, we're going back to a diagonal. And that little plate having uh, in the center your feature there is fine as to deviate there. Also, the shoes. I feel like, I don't know if Jay's ever worn those. Oh, it's just a side note for me. I don't have to pay attention to what I just said there. I like the little ate that, so they go from the diagonal into the straight line. And then nice little just like, we ate that, we eating it, let's go. So right there, we're going and we're pushing with the hips side to side. I like the levels on that. Really nice, really good levels. And I think that's what makes a good choreography structure is not just your content, but the formations and transitions. And they do a fantastic job showcasing their feature as well as going from one formation to another where it makes sense and you're reintroducing it in a different way so it doesn't feel redundant. So that's nice. A little brush there. I like the hit, boom, over is nice. And then you have two low versus three low. And so it, it's a different... Um, proportion of people high and people low and it goes boogie on the floor they have the little chest on that and we go brush 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 the swing yeah that mac and cheese i ate that i think that wasn't that one of their very 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 first tracks they ever did macaroni and cheese and then they have the xxl that's xxl right there so i'm assuming the choreography ties into the macaroni and cheese and the xxl because i i have seen that and i've covered that one too the little ate that, I like the brush over, and we eating. Okay, cool. Ate that, yep. And then we go, I like the hinge around the pulse on that. That is really tricky to do well. And so for the fact of the singability of it, it's it's impressive that they're able to carry a stable tune on this one because of that kind of stuff right there. The usage of the core to allow the torso to be that stiff, to syncopate it that way is always, a, it, it's fatiguing. It goes hit, hit, hit. It did feel like we were entertaining a potential Brooklyn top rock. I don't quite know if we're going to give that the full thing there, but it's fun though, a little hit and a hit. So just with the pickups on that, it's really nice with a little brush is cool. Throw it down. And that's a little party uh, party machine variation with the turn. Turning party machine. That was nice, of course, with again, with the, with the chug on that. And the head rotation, so I like how we have some subtle hands to allow to show that our head is making it its own moment. And bringing it with the accent to the back. They hit it around, a little pot of beret. And we have the chest and a little shoulder oh, with the chest, 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 which is nice. Ate that. Boom. And it goes, mmm. Little pivot away. We walk in. We walk in. We walk in. And they go and sit down. For me, my spirit animal twin over there. Yes, crisscross applesauce. Because that's what I'd be doing too. Super, super cute. Very nice. Now, we're going to go back. I think it's the no CGI version. This is just a fun thing I just want to look at. Because I have a feeling it's going to be really fun. Let's go. Secret recipe. It's so funny. I'm so glad they released this.
Oh, so they're showing when it's full CGI and there's like nothing. Yeah, that. She parkoured off that so fast. Customizing, so funny. Suspects. There's so much money that went into the CGI, UPS. If you don't know Blockbuster, I don't know how many exist. I think there's only one, but it used to be a movie rental uh, store. Now you know. That's what I thought, that because because, side note here, the reason why I was thinking in my head that there was two separate shots was because I remember it was Jordan or May. He's a freaking wizard on talking about music video stuff like that. I'm just like, I try to be, I try to be at least like a, I don't know, I try to be decent on explaining dance stuff. Um, and he talks about it's two cuts, one of them's in slow-mo, and then what they did is they masked her her words over it so you had a really cool effect so they didn't slow it down or anything um her mouthing it because that would just be brutal her trying to get the words right right so i think that's a really that's fun to actually see them show that they're showing all the movie magic Yes, Granny! Yeah, now that, that's like a legit, that was like a, that was like a, they were giving the impression of doing a gang affiliated drive by. They're like, they're like real, recognize real on like, you're my, one of my people, is really what that was, which is kind of funny because it's a, they are Asian girls and he is an African American man. <laughs> And so that was actually a really funny interaction seeing there. It's very like counterintuitive to what you would see. So I totally get that. That's funny. <laughs> this is a fun way to show their uh, show their merch. YPS Young Posse. What does the S stand for, though? I don't know. The, the cake, man. I bet it tastes good. Free donuts. So fast. I love the chairs on the side. Such a fun vibe. That's really funny, and I'm glad that exists. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I bet you some people would feel that the CGI on this Grand Theft Auto is actually better quality than some of the Grand Theft Auto video games that you've played, which I think is really, really fun. Once again, my name is Jess. Thank you again, Chris, for the request, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.